Connected layers is a really important Flinto feature. I'm here in the transition designer and I want to design a transition from this screen that has small photos to a screen that has a big photo. And I'd like the small photo to seamlessly zoom up to the large photo as if it's just one image. But Flinto doesn't know that this is the same image across two screens. We can indicate that using the connected layer feature. So to start this transition, I want to align the screens, and anytime you have a transition that looks like it takes place within one view, you should probably align the screens by clicking the Align Screens checkbox. Now the screens are in alignment. I'm going to start by fading out the background layer. So I'll change the opacity to zero. There's also a text layer below the photo, and I want to fade that out as well. Now when I toggle the transition, those layers fade in and out, and the only thing left for me to do is account for this large photo. Now you may think, that you just put it here on top of the small version, scale it down so it fits right on top, and you could create an effect where the photo zooms up that way. But that's a bit tedious and error prone, and using the connected layers feature is gonna let you do this really quickly. So here's how it works. If you select a layer in the end screen, then click connect layers, you can target a layer in the start screen to connect it to. And if you hold command, you can select through groups. So I wanna select one of these individual little photos and it's this one here, so I'll click, and now those layers are connected. When I toggle the transition, it's just that easy to get this nice seamless zoom effect. Anytime you have a layer in two screens that should be treated as if it's the same layer and it's just moving its position or rotating or scaling, connecting those layers will create that animation automatically for you. If you look here in the later list, you can see that the layer from the start screen has been brought up right next to the layer in the end screen. Now you can select either one of those and then adjust the easing and it will apply to them as a unit. So I've given it a little bit of a bounce. There's also some options in the inspector, one for behavior, and this changes the way that one layer is faded into the other. Because what's actually happening is the big photo is laid on top of the small photo and resized down. Then as the animation progresses, the big photo is fading into the small one. We have an article that goes over this in detail. And we have another video that explains this Z index option, so I'll link to those. Now with one of these layers selected, I'm gonna click Disconnect Layers, because I wanna show you another way that you can make this connection. You can select one layer in the layer list and then select another layer from the other screen by holding Command and clicking in the layer list and then click the Connect Layers button. So that's just one other way that you can create the connection.